Welcome to this episode of History Hunters. I'm in downtown Lodi, the corner of Oak and Pine Streets, and there's homeless people on each corner screaming. Anyway, I want to start out this video series on the filming locations of Kohan Luke because the opening scene was shot here in Lodi, where Paul Newman was cutting the heads off the parking meters, the very crime that landed him at the road prison camp. Cool Hand Luke is a movie about an easygoing Luke Jackson, played by Paul Newman, who gets drunk one night and cuts the heads off the parking meters. He is sent to a Florida Road prison camp run by a sadistic administrator. He doesn't play by the rules of either the warden or fellow inmate Dragline, played by George Kennedy, who ends up admiring the new guy's unbreakable will. Luke's bravado, even in the face of repeated stints in the prison's dreaded solitary confinement cell, called the box, make him a rebel hero to his fellow inmates and a thorn in the side of the prison officers. And it seems that Luke has a smile on his face most of the time. So in preparing for this video, I asked a number of people on Facebook if they knew where the exact locations were where Paul Newman cut those heads off the parking meters. There's a preponderance of evidence to suggest it was here in Lodi and not in Stockton as a number of people have told me. Now, exactly where has been somewhat of a mystery because obviously downtown Lodi has changed quite a bit. So some of the buildings cannot be matched up. This building here, I believe it's the same one that's in the background of this shot of when the police come up to Paul Newman and approach him and put the spotlight on him or the headlights on him. So if I'm correct about the fact that the parking meters were out here, right about where that car's pulling out would have been where Paul Newman cut the heads off the parking meters. This area looks completely different from the time that Paul Newman was out here. So over there is a very historic old hotel. It's the Lodi Hotel or Hotel Lodi. It's on School Street. I believe that corner of that building could have been where the drugstore sign was hanging in the scene. Again, I can't say for sure because I don't know and nobody's been able to assist me. But yeah, if you can imagine that, Paul Newman is out here cutting off the heads of parking meters late one night, October 1966. So here's another location where it could have been shot, where it's school in Pine Street. Somebody told me that that was a drugstore at one time and that this is where the parking meters were. As you can see, the street's kind of wide here. It would have accommodated a little parking island. It also matches up to what was in the background here, and that's that hotel building right there. Again, there's no definite place that anybody's been able to help me pinpoint where it is, but like I said, I think that first location that I went to is actually the one. So in doing some research about these filming locations, uh, the Lodi, parking meter scene was the most controversial because nobody could agree. In fact, I had some people tell me that the parking area, parking lots behind the main buildings were the location where Paul Newman did his dirty deed in the beginning of Cool Hand Luke. Right over here, you'll see an island. One gentleman told me that this island right here is where parking meters were installed and where they filmed those scenes, but there's no evidence of parking meters being here other than possibly they replaced this concrete island here. What doesn't match up about this is that those are not the scenes in the background. That's the best I can do as far as identifying where Paul Newman committed his heinous crime that actually landed him a death sentence. So 
So I'm in Detone Park in Stockton, North Stockton, and this is kind of the holy grail of Cool Hand Luke filming locations. This is the exact spot where the prison camp, Division of Corrections Prison Camp number 36 was built. It's not in Florida. It was actually here in California. This is a very nice park covered with a lot of oak trees. I understand that uh, when they came in here to make this look like Florida, they had to cover these trees and drape them with Spanish moss to resemble a southern style of prison camp. Some of you may know that the author of Cool Hand Luke, Don Pierce, had spent some time in a Florida prison camp. He was a technical advisor for the filming and got to know Paul Newman, but he actually thought Newman was wrong for the part of Luke Jackson. You will see Bear Creek running to the west of the camp, which would have placed it right over there. Right over here, the buildings were right in this area where the park ends and the Oakwood Elementary School yard begins. When they were here, all of this was out in the country, out in the sticks. There was no city surrounding it. Now it's been completely surrounded by the city. The camp was over in this area. So there's the school property boundary, and on this side is Detoni Park. Camp would have been out here. In the background of some of those camp scenes, you will see Bear Creek running in the background. Again, this has changed quite a bit since that time. I'm sure that in the last 54 years that some of the trees have either fallen or been cut down. Lots can change in a half a century. Cool Hand Luke was a $3 million film production and its famous cast attracted a lot of attention by the locals, including coverage by the Stockton Record newspaper. The women swooned over Paul Newman, of course. He had baby blue eyes and he had a small muscular physique. There's one particular scene you might remember where the prison crew forced Paul Newman, just as a punishment, to dig a deep hole and fill it up, only to redig it and fill it up again. I believe it would have been right in this area here. You'll also remember that his dying mother in the film, Jo Van Fleet, comes to visit one last time in the parking lot that was in this direction. There was a dirt parking lot to the south or southwest of the camp. It was also here that Anthony Zerby brings back the dead bloodhound that died from exhaustion from chasing Paul Newman around on one of his escapes. He was pretty devastated in that scene. I understand that a local veterinarian tranquilized that dog for the scene. He wasn't dead. Look, Captain. Look what he done to Blue. I was always concerned that maybe they killed the dog for that scene, but they didn't, they just put him to sleep. Now, keep in mind that that subdivision to the south here wasn't here at the time. It was just completely wide open space. You could see for miles. Amazing to think that these trees, I'm sure most of these trees were here back in those days. I understand that in 2005, I believe it was, George Kennedy came back here. He wanted to tour some of the filming locations. Came back to this park and reminisced about some of his experiences here. Ralph Wade of the Waltons had a key role in that movie, and he actually had a naked butt scene because he had to spend the night in the timeout box. You can see there's a couple of cranes down there drawing the water of the creek, and I have a feeling that if I get close to it, they're gonna take off. Yep, there he goes. It's crazy to think this was the location of the Cool Hand Luke prison camp. So one of the biggest changes to this area is that Davis Road over here was a mere two-lane country road back in 1966 with little traffic. In fact, some of the people who were able to comment said that they used to come out here hunting when they were kids. None of these houses were here across the street and you could see all the way to Thornton Road to the west. So what we're gonna do right now is head up a little bit about a quarter mile up Davis Road. We'll show you where Paul Newman escaped across one of the canals or creeks. Going north on Davis Road, I'm freezing this frame to show you that this spot near Bear Creek was the entrance point to the movie set. The row of oak trees here are the same ones in the screenshot of the prison truck leaving the property as it turned north onto Davis Road. So I'm here part of Bear Creek because somebody told me that this is where the uh, scene where Paul Newman goes across this creek on a rope. It was shot right here. Imagine many years ago, 53 years ago, Paul Newman was down here. 
crossing this in one of his great escapes. There's actually a, some homeless people underneath the bridge now. I'm sure it's a different bridge than what Paul Newman do this area. He came up here. It's totally different than way back in the 60s. Totally different today. So I wish I could tell you that this was an easy place to find. It's not. I spent a lot of time on Google Earth to find this location. I'm out on Liberty Road north of Clements, California. And I wanted to find this, the place where they did the first road crew shots. This road is busy. I was trying to find this hill that was behind George Kennedy when he was cutting grass out on here at Liberty Road and I couldn't find it anywhere. But then I realized that in the passage of 53 years, those trees right there are all new. That hill right there was absolutely clear. And all you could see in the background were oak trees right about where this 55 mile an hour speed limit is. It's right about where they shot the scenes. And farther down the road that way, they were filming some additional scenes out here on Liberty Road. You will find those scenes at the beginning of the movie, right after Paul Newman commits his heinous crime, right up there where my car is parked is Macville Road. And in the movie, they brought in a helicopter that took off from out there. It hovered over this intersection here, and it was one of the scenes, one of the last scenes that showed cutting grass out here. I kind of thought it was funny how whenever the inmates needed to take their shirt off, they had to get permission of calling out the boss man. Take it off here, boss! Anyway, an iconic scene. McCoy and Luke shot right here. Farmington is truly a small farming town in San Joaquin County with roots dating back to 1859. The town hosted Peter Fonda and Susan George for one of the filming sites in the 1974 film Dirty Mary Crazy Larry. But Paul Newman, George Kennedy, and Ralph Waite beat them to it to film a scene with Cool Hand Luke in 1966. So I'm out here on Escalone Belota Road. Some movie magic was shot out here. Paul Newman, Ralph Waite, and a bunch of other actors came out here for the filming of Cool Hand Luke. And I believe that I've identified this as the spot where the famous chain gang scene was shot, where Ralph Waite comes up to one of the prison guards after they get out of the wagon, and he says he's got a deal to take the broom from another inmate. So in Cool Hand Luke, you see that the truck rolls up right about here. In the background, you see the trees way off in the distance over there. And you also see the high power lines over here. This is where that scene was shot. It's right about here that Ralph Waite did his little exchange with the prison guard, said that he had a deal with one of the inmates to take the broom. He realized how serious he was for breaching the conduct rules. I think it was right about here that George Kennedy asked to take his shirt off so that he could work a little bit better. Take it off here, boss! Yeah, drag line, take it off there. That corral that you see where we parked over there by it, I don't believe it was here at the time. And these are probably the original metal posts out here that you see in the background as well. Also in the scene, you will see this little irrigation pipe sticking up. I'm going to point it out to you on this scene right here. I have something I need to show you. Yeah. It's yeah. not involved in your history, but it's... So you haven't seen Cool Hand Luke, have you? Nope. So what do you have to show me? Oh, come on. Take a look at this. Animal related, I'm sure. Not 
fun animal related. Oh, a dead animal? Dead pig right here. Oh! Oh, nasty! It's a pig. I can see that. Oh, that's that's absolutely gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's <so> gross. <laughs> A lot of people were helping me determine exactly where Paul Newman was running down the train tracks when he was being chased by the hound dogs during one of his prison escapes. One of the individuals who helped me said his father was out here and was golfing out at the Elkhorn Country Club and they would watch several days as Paul Newman and his crew were out here filming the scenes. Now the area along Eight Mile Road north of here, north of Stockton, still looks the same like it did back in 1966 so we have to go underneath this railroad structure here to get to the side where Paul Newman was running down the tracks some people have some creative art abilities on display down here so here we are does that look familiar to you this is the actual location where Paul Newman was running down the tracks in one of his escape scenes If you go searching for pictures of Paul Newman in Cool Hand Luke, chances are you'll come across the iconic photo of Newman running on these tracks right here. Hasn't changed a whole lot since the 60s, but Stockton's growth limits have been pushed all the way up to Eight Mile Road now. And now we have an overpass here, which wasn't here at the time. Of course, there was also a long distance shot of a bloodhound that was running on this section of the track here as well. And you thought this was all shot in Florida, didn't you? So I'm at a place called Daggett Road, now a port of Stockton Expressway, and there's an old bridge over here that somebody identified to me as the location for the Shake It Off scene. If you remember, the chain gang was out here, and Paul Newman was allowed to go into the bushes to take a leak as long as he shook the bush, and he outsmarted him. And he took a string and he wrapped around the bush as he started to make his escape into the wooded area right here. And he kept shaking the bush and by the time Morgan Woodward figured it out, he took a shot at him, Paul Newman was gone. So the bridge would have connected right there if it was swiveled around. It's out of commission forever, it looks like. Morgan Woodward stood on that bridge, which is encased by tree growth. So this is how the bridge would have swelled around to here. There's some movie scenes with prison guard John McLeam interacting with Newman, and you'll see cars traveling in the background. The work crew, I believe, would have been down in this direction. Paul Newman would have taken a leak down to, into this area that drops down, only he wasn't taking a leak, he was escaping. So now this area has been completely, and I mean completely, changed since the 60s because of the new bridge constructed here. Yeah, this white bridge has completely spoiled the feel of this particular movie location. There's the creek that you'll see in the background of this particular shot here. In the early 1990s, I got to meet Morgan Woodward at a film festival, and unfortunately at the time, I didn't know anything about the film, but I wish I had because I would have asked him something about his experiences filming Cohan Luke. To get to the scene where Strother Barton strikes Paul Newman in that famous scene where he says, What we've got here is failure to communicate. It was actually shot out here on this private property. It says, uh, I should not be trespassing here, but I don't see what the big deal is. We're on the wrench track.
This is the bridge that's in the scene where they drive the crew over. They're driving a crew over to the workplace. This is the same bridge. It's, it took place at night though. I was also told that the uh, scenes where they were oiling the road were shot out here as well. It's a big island here. I'm on the levee where Paul Newman was hit by Strother Martin in that mean scene after he escapes. He's brought out here and taught a lesson for his actions never to escape again. But this is the same ridge, same levee that Paul Newman was standing on when he got hit by Strother Martin. He had to have an example made of him for escaping. I kind of felt sorry for Paul Newman in that scene. He had just escaped. He was captured. He was brought back right in front of all of his friends. An example for the others not to escape. So much about this area has changed in the passage of 53 years, so it's kind of difficult to precisely identify where some of these scenes were shot. So I wanted to show you this. It's a building. It's now the Lodi Card Room, but at one time it was Croce's Restaurant in Lodi. And when Paul Newman was here filming Cool Hand Luke, he actually dined here with his wife, Joanne Woodward. I heard a story that one of the female workers asked the owner if she could have the tablecloth from the table that Paul Newman ate at, and he said yes. True story, I kid you not. So stay tuned for part two, and we'll show you where the famous turtle shooting scene took place, where the sexy girl washed her car, the trestle that Paul Newman jumped from, and the actual country store, which is barely standing near Lathrop, California.